Yo, what is going on, people? Welcome to another Daisy Tools tutorial video. So, in this video, as some t some of you may have been getting, I had it myself, where you went into Bulldozer and you couldn't see your satellite image while you was in Bulldozer. Now, a big thanks to OFP2 for posting the fix on the forms. He has been in some of my streams, and yeah, big thanks to you, dude. Um, so I would recommend as well if you have any, maybe I um. No ideas, sorry, some maybe suggestions to help other people. I would suggest coming on here if you need any help. Maybe I can't help you. There's a lot of people who come on here who can fix stuff. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to go to find your main folder for your DAISY. So mine is Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, DAISY. What you want to do is you want to copy everything except from a folder. You want to click Control C or you can right click and copy. Then you want to go to your P drive and you want to paste them in. Now I'm not going to click that because I've already done that. Um, so then you let them all paste in. Then you want to open up Terrain Builder. Once you've opened up Terrain Builder you want to go to Tools, Preferences, Bulldozer and then where it says exe this if you've watched my other tutorial should be going to your main DayZ drive at the moment you don't want that to happen anymore so you want to click the three dots you want to click on your p drive then you want to click DayZ, and then you want to click ok ok on that then you want to click save now what i recommend doing is going on to your map frames properties processing if you haven't already done generate your satellite texture your surface map then once you've done that what you want to do is you want to go to C you don't have to do this remember if you have already got your layers generated you want to go into daisy tools bin image to PAA you want to open up the PAA to GUI GUI.exe you want to add a source directory you want to find your layers folder inside your main source you want to click OK it will come up with all these then you want to click process files that will take a while once that is done yet again click save then once you've done that you want to load up bulldozer it may take some time depending on how much and how big your map is if you've got a lot of objects also it will take a lot of time then you want to obviously once you jump in this is what my satellite image looks like now i can actually see i will be putting a before screen on the screen right now just in case you don't know what it was it looked like before so that's the before screen remember to like and subscribe and hit that share button um maybe because we're nearly there when we get 200 subscribers i'll actually show you how to actually create your own custom map from scratch maybe um, using and giving you all the config and i'll actually be uploading the source that i do create for you guys so maybe you could want to edit that and take parts from that so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye